This is California Sea Best Practice Exam Mathematics section, and this is problem number 35. A school district is proposing a 5% increase in the number of days in a school year. Currently, there are 180 days in a school year. How long would a school year be with the proposed increase? When you're going to solve a percentage problem, you need to make sure that you understand what the problem is asking you, so, to make, so you make sure that you solve for the right answer. In this case, We'll reword the question in our own words. This is always a good practice to do with word problems, especially when you go through the problem. If you have any concerns at all about what you just read, go back through it and try to put it into your own words. All right. So what's happening here is there's a school district that would like to increase the number of days in a school year by 5%. Now there are currently 180 days in the school year, so if the school district increases the school year by 5%, what would be the new number of days in the school year? There are a number of ways to calculate this. All right, The first way I'm going to show you is just a simple straightforward calculation whereby we find what 5% of 180 is and then add that to 180. All right, let's go ahead and solve it that way first. All right, I've gone ahead and written down some information for you that you can use for not only this problem, but for any future problems of this sort with, uh, in dealing with percentages. X percent of any number can be rewritten as X percent times Y. In this problem, we want to know what is 5 percent of 180. So what is x percent, 5 percent of 180. What is 5 percent of 180? So that's rewritten in words. And this is how you write it in the expression. What is 5 percent, 0.05, of multiplied by 180? And that's what you punch into your calculator to find the result. Now I want just to remind you, 5 percent can be rewritten as 0 0.05 can be rewritten as 5 over 100. So when we put this into the calculator, we'll come up with the number 9. 5% of 180 is 9. So to specifically answer this question, we're saying the school district is proposing a 5% increase. That means they want to increase the number of school days by 9. Therefore, 180 plus 9 is equal to 189. So of course the answer is D. Now there are other ways to solve this problem. You should immediately be able to recognize this way and you should be very comfortable with this. X percent of a number is written as percent times that number. Okay. So if you want to know what is Oh, I don't know, just make up something. What is 7% of 15, right? So what is 7% of 15? Well, we know we can rewrite 7% as 0 0.07 times 15. Multiply that out, and we will get 1.05, OK? What is 25% of 65? See, we can do this all day long now. That gives us 16.25. OK, that's not the only way to solve this problem. Again, if you're not having any trouble at all with uh, solving percentage problems, feel free to move on to the next video. The uh, balance of this video is to help those who are struggling with percentage problems. We know what we're going to do here. We've, uh, we've seen it, uh, the problem now. We know we're going to want to increase the number of school days by 5%. So what we did in the last uh, solution is we took 180 days, we found out what 5% of 180 is, and then we added that to it. But isn't that the same thing as 105% of, of 180? Sure it is. Look, what is 100% of 180? 180, that would be 1, 0, 0 times 180. And of course, that is 1 times 180. And the answer is, of course, 180. Now, you may be wondering, why didn't I write that as 0 0.01? 
Well, because that is 1%, not 100%. 100% is rewritten as 1, or it is written as 100 over 100. All right, let me get rid of this now. So we said 180 is 100% 100 of 180, of course. And we want to increase by 5%. Well, let's just go with 105%, 105%, which would be 1.05 times 180. And if we punch that into calculator, we just immediately arrive at our answer, 189. So you can see how being familiar with writing your percentages and understanding percentages, you can solve these problems very quickly and easily and move on to a much more difficult problem. Alright, I'm going to go through one more way of solving this problem and that is using proportions. And I'm not suggesting you use proportions on a problem like this. I want to show you how to use proportions. Okay, so we know that 180 days is 100%, right? So we want to increase this by 5%. Let's set it up in a proportion, 105%. If 180 days is 100%, we want to increase that by 5%. We would put the 105 105% 105 on the bottom because we have the percentage on the bottom here. All right. Now, if you it, before I solve this, if you happen to have written 100%, okay, like this equals 180 days, which you could certainly do then you would need to put the 105 percent up here okay and we'll just denote the, the, the X is right here so I hope you realize that this is exactly the same problem we're just setting it up as proportions whenever you set something up as proportions you just simply do a cross multiply 180 times 105 equals 18,900 and then you're going to divide that and we're going to uh, we're going to erase this uh, percentage here because uh, that was just for your convenience so you can see what unit it is. Uh, and we're going to divide that by 100. And of course, when we do that, we simply move the decimal over one, two places, right? And we are left with 189. So three different ways to arrive at the same answer.